All right, this is going to be a quick review on Drex, uh, on the Epic uh, Heroes um, four-inch scale figure. Uh, there's his front, and I can already tell I'm probably just going to use his head sculpt. I'm not sure. There's the side. There's the back. Let's scroll up a little bit. There we go. And the other side. Okay, there he is. And so we'll go ahead and start opening them up. Danny and Sacco. If I can do this all on camera. found that this is not trapped. This is where their weapons and accessories are stored. So if you get an Epic Series Hero uh, foreign scale figurine or action figure, you want to not throw that piece of paper away because here are his weapons. I'm wondering if they have anywhere to go on him. Uh, there's the back. They have uh, one, two, three, four tie downs. And of course, you can cut them easy enough or just tear them off. They're very pliable plastic. I'll go and do that off camera real quick. All right, that's the magic. So I'll just cut from the front side. Again, I love that logo i just wish that big hunkin yellow arrow wasn't there would be a good background for his uh you know his team so i'm going to clean up the sides here and put him down there he is drax the destroyer he is he has a hard time standing just because of his the nature of his mold uh, but there he is uh, he's definitely going to be customized a little bit if I keep him as far as uh, his body to keep his sculpt. Uh, I'm just going to quick give you a quick uh, comparison to the Marvel Universe Drax. And he is super short compared to him. So if I keep him... I'm a guy that likes consistency in, in my figures. Um, collection. I say he just needs to be taller. He needs to be taller. And I don't know, you know, if I give him ankle, you know, if I give him, even, yeah, I think I'm just going to steal the head sculpt. But even then, look at that head compared to his head. He is super small. And look at these heads. All right. Let's see if I can get that in. The heads are way different. Let's see. And the size of, of the heads, man. There we go. Sorry, it's just. I don't even know if it's worth it. Okay, I'm just gonna. But. Uh, I won't compare him to the rest of the team because I'm not going to use him. I'm pretty much deciding that right now. Uh, there's his head, head and neck articulation. It's on a ball joint, but there's no, I mean, very little up and down movement. Shoulders, like the Mantis, uh, they actually go pretty far up for, for the males. I've also seen and heard that the Peter Quill or the Star Lord um, body is the exact same as this one, so I will not be getting that guy either. Uh, if I want to use a, a movie head for Star Lord, I'll probably just go ahead and buy a, a, um, a Jurassic Park 
figure, uh, which might go a little bit better. All right, so shoulders go that far. This left side only goes that much without hitting the shoulder pad there. Um, but if you pop it out just a little bit more, 360. Same thing with this one, 360. Um, elbow swivel. Yep, elbow swivel. I thought for a second there that the uh, this was going, but it's not. Uh, elbow folds. Goes about that much on the right side, about 90 degrees. And on the left side, about that far. Cocking a little bit more, might get a little bit more. All right, so 90 degree elbow. Again, no wrist articulation. A swivel on the shoulder and on the elbow. As far as legs, uh, Mantis was not able to go backwards at all. Same as the case here. He can go forward right about to there. Knee goes to about there, and it's on the swivel, so you can do some funny business, hanky-panky. I don't know what you want to do with that. On uh, no ankle rotation, uh, swivel at all, or any type of articulation. <clears throat> His uh, thighs do split that much. So, you know, if, you, if you want him to be a Van Damme, there he is. But, like I said, I just don't know if I'm going to use him. I think he's, it would be too hard to get him to height. Um, I might keep him, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's a rough one. Um, if I keep him. I will probably have to cut torso to have a swivel, uh, which I would probably do anyways. Hopefully there's no parts in there. Should not be any parts because this is, I believe, a direct hinge type thing on the legs. So it's probably a cavity, empty cavity here. So I'll cut this open, uh, raise it up, then do some sculpting. I might do that. Um, and maybe even give him some... Uh, rocker ability, but I don't know if I'll do that. It's probably just do swivel. Uh, another thing I would do is give him some wrist articulation and of course the ankle articulation by putting a ball joint in the ankle. I would also probably um, put a um, swiveling peg there, or I don't know what that's called, uh, neck peg swivel <coughs> in his head. Let's go ahead and pop his head off and see what, see what it is. All right, yeah, just a ball joint. Um, head again is super small, unfortunately. Um, but it's a nice looking sculpt, you know. It's the Drax of the movie. If you're into being movie accurate, I'm more of a, a comic accuracy. Um, so that's him. Head pops on and off pretty easy enough. Um, and get them refocused again, you know, just comparison to um, his other Drax. I just don't see it. And here he is compared to um, the Marvel Universe Star Lord. So he actually fits in well here with him. However, Drax is supposed to be taller, and you know, he's just not. Yeah, he's still shorter than uh, Star-Lord here. And that, to me, is a... Let's see if I can keep his, his feet up straight. In a straighter stance. See how well he goes? Yeah, holding him up. Yeah, he's just not the same at all. So, <clears throat> again, I would... I would cut there at the torso at the ab um add a add a swivel and add some sculpt maybe i don't know how much sculpt plus uh, adding the ball joint there at the ankle would give him some height battery died so i was saying uh, add that foot articulation there ankle articulation with ball joint might add up some space um, some height there. 
if I do the uh, waist swivel there, I can sculpt some on his on his uh, body. And some as far as his size is concerned, let's see if I can do this. I'm not going to keep it in here. But he stands at about. Exactly four inches, a little bit above. So, no, just at four inches. Um, yeah, maybe just a little bit a tad higher than four inches, probably. So, true to scale, as far as epic heroes, he's four inches hot tall. Um, again, comparison comparing to uh, his counterpart in the Marvel Universe. You know, he's shorter and the Marvel Universe is about four and a quarter over four and a quarter there. Alright. Like I said he's kind of this buck's kind of the bigger of the of the small guys. He's got about four and a half uh, almost. You know. So that means I have a half inch worth of yeah man I don't know if it's four and a half the camera angles just doesn't give them the right the right dimension for you guys if you're looking but he yeah maybe he is about four and a half let's see if I get your camera right he's under four and a half you're gonna have to believe me but uh this height is going to have to be improved by at least, you know, at least three eighths of an inch. Um, this height's going to have to be increased by at least four and into four and a quarter. Uh, just keep scale. Uh, at least four and a quarter. But in order to get to the Drax height here, he's going to have to go almost three eighths of an inch. Uh, taller, um, which isn't impossible. However, um, you know, compared to him, he is much shorter. He is not up to par. I think he'd, he'd get his booty whooped by this dude. Um, comparing his shoulder length or size, you know, his, his shoulders are about the same. Obviously, you're not going to get the musculature that uh, this one does because his shirt's off. Um, my battery's just about to die. I'm going to plug you in. There we go. 4%. If you compare his size to the Marvel Universe, uh, that's, that's how much shorter his legs are. And from belt to belt, that's how much shorter his waist and torso is. Again, you know, compare the heads. I mean, this, this, the head is much smaller. You know, he's just a smaller head. He's a smaller guy. Um, so you have to take that into account. Don't know if I'm gonna keep him. Um, there goes my ruler. My, my my angle. His blades. You know. All right. Can they? They're just like this silver resin or whatever they use for epic. Uh, could definitely use some um, wash or something. I compare these to these. I mean. Just, you know, obviously this guy needs to be colored a little bit more. Um, but nothing you don't got on this guy that you got on this guy is this. I mean, this is pretty cool. You know, Drax and his knives in the back, you know. So maybe if I do some adding, I might put in some uh, knife holders here for him. I'll just keep kind of keep him keep him within 
specs, you know. Here he is compared to Mantis in the same wave. She definitely fits with him. Um, but, again, uh, she's probably going to get a high increase with some customization as well. Um, like I said, and I think main points are articulation I'll add is neck swivel um, on the ball joint. Um, maybe a, a um, what is that called? Oh, man, that's, you know, swivel here at the arm. Uh, definitely some at the wrist. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a ball joint there or just straight up swivel. Um, thighs, I think they're fine. I don't know if I'll swivel those out or not, but definitely the ankle. Ankle needs that ball joint or some type of swivel, and it will be given a ball joint if I decide to keep him, uh, just to kind of keep him in the lineup. Um, so here he is. Here's with Rocket and the Legend scale. And I've said before, I think this Rocket measures well within the court uh, 1 and 18th inch scale. Here he is with the actual, um, you know, toy bot in box Rocket. I think he is too small for this on the comics and everything that you researched. Rocket should be about four feet tall. So, and here he is with Star Lord Marvel Legends. Uh, we've already compared him to the comic based version. Again, he's short. He's short. That's just the way it is. That's just the straight up truth. And here's, here he is with the fellow knife wielding buddy. In the movies, he uh, he and her had some beef. She's a daughter of Thanos. There he is with his ladies. Uh, here is Groot. Here is Groot. Uh, and then there were the friends. But yeah, we can get rid of the rest of these here, but. Here is in comparison to Groot. Again, he should be smaller. And Yondu. Try standing him up real quick for a pose. Anyway, that is Drax in the Epic Hero Wave foreign scale. Like I said, love the sculpt there and that emblem. Uh, just need some points of articulation. Um, uh, other than that, and his height, he looks pretty good. I would, I'm still debating whether I want to keep him or not. But if I do, he's definitely going to be in the customization block. Another point, quick point of our uh, comparison here. Uh, let's see, uh, there's the Epic Hero, but his arm length, or, you know, shoulder to shoulder, or, you know, here's his forearm to forearm. They're about the same. And maybe just a little bit longer for the, the Marvel Universe figure. Um, but, you know, adding that height will not impact his, you know, him looking bad as far as his uh, arms are concerned. Uh, looks like the same sculpt there for the hand. Actually, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Um, let's see if you can see it. Yep. Yeah. So let's zoom in. Yeah. yeah, same sculpt. So there's a comparison to the hands or his arm length. Not not too bad. Uh, just a quick other comparison here for the knives. Yeah, since we're doing that, hopefully you'll be able to see this. There's that knife. And here's the knife that comes with this epic hero. Oh boy, here we go. So, get that zoomed in right, there we go. So, one's more mu movie accurate, this one's more, I don't know if it's comic accurate or not, but uh, yeah, this one definitely needs some paint detail. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to paint that, get some wash 
give it some handle color. Uh, maybe keep it black like the like the uh, marble version. Uh, this one needs some touching up there. Just been in storage, so anyhow. Just want to do a quick um, comparison to the arms, and that's where he is at. His arms are good length for this add-in of height. I'm not sure if I said this or not, but leg articulation up to that much as knee to about there. Swivel, no ankle, but this is where I don't know I showed you or not. There is no backwards articulation, so part of that customization is probably going to be cutting out some of that, some of that rear end um, mold, and um, that's just the way it is sometimes. I have to do that with the Iron Man. A lot of the Iron Man's, um, some of the other figures, especially if they're in, have a ball socket uh, type joint, uh, that booty area, just like Mantis, I mean, that leg is not going back at all. Overall, though, uh, good to be able to round up the uh, team with the same uni. Um, if I didn't customize, I would probably not add him to my to my team i think he's too short um and plus the existing uh, versions in marvel universe has the colors that or the color scheme at least for the uniforms as they are and that's just fine plus his shirt is off which uh you know Drax seems to be always shirtless and uh but if uh we wanted him with the uni. There he is. Again, needing some height adjustment, uh, some extra swivel and articulation adjustments. And he'll be just fine. Uh, same thing with the Mantis. I don't think I'm going to get any other figures. Um, I do have Rocket and the Spaceship, but uh, I think it's too short. But that's just me. Um, I'll do an unboxing of that maybe later on too. Anyway, hope you enjoy.